Hello children. In a previous program, we went to a cave similar to this one, where we saw that people long ago, they first of all used their fingers for counting, and then they put those same marks onto the cave wall, like this. Then we saw how they used a stick from the fire and they made a tally stick to mark their numbers. We call it scores. And each uh, animal, goats, sheep, children, would be marked on this stick. And we called it a tally stick. Then you will remember we went to a river and we were looking for something. We were looking for clay. And we then looked at the clay and made marks in the clay like they used to do in Babylon many, many years ago. The Babylonians used clay for their writing and they pushed into the clay to make marks like this. The Babylonians were very important to the history of mathematics. They were the ones that made 360 degrees in a circle because they studied the stars and the heavens. So they divided up the heavens into 360 little marks called degrees. We will see in this program how another country helped us to develop mathematics. They are the Romans and I'm going to show you what they did with their numbers. Follow me and you'll see how they did it. Strangely enough, the Romans went back to finger counting, just like we saw on a previous program with the people who lived long ago. They counted one and they used that for one, two, three, four, and when it came to five, they used their hand like this, like a V. And the Roman numeral for five is a V, as I expect you know. And then they continued to have a V and one, that made six, seven, eight, nine, and when it came to ten, they used two V's. They changed one of the V's and made it upside down to make an X, which to us makes an X for ten. We can see these Roman numerals on clocks and on watches. Even on my watch, we still have Roman numerals on the watch face. So, we come back to the decimal system. The Romans used two V's for decimal. Now, there's something very interesting. I asked you last time to look up a word, and that was decimate. Do you remember? I said, look it up in the dictionary. The Romans had a very interesting way of using that word to decimate. I will show you how. Now the Roman army had one of the best armies in the whole world. They conquered the world. To get an army like that, you needed perfect discipline. The men had to be disciplined. It was no good them running away in the time of war. If they did run away, the whole battalion of men would be lined up along a cliff like this, and every tenth man would be killed. So the centurion, the man in charge of a hundred men, would come along and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
shot. And the man would be thrown over the edge of the cliff to fall into the sea and to be eaten by the sharks. This is where we get the word decimate. I asked you in a previous program to look that word up. It's got the deci in it and it's every tenth man would be killed. And the word decimate, look it up in the dictionary again and you will see it means to, to kill. We've seen that the Romans had a huge and successful army. They used their numbers in the army itself. If I wanted to call five men to come over to me, I would be able to give them a hand signal. Like that. Like that. I'm telling the officer to send me five men. Do you see how the hands are being used? If we write that down, we get it written like that, like a V, like the V. Now, when we've got two Vs, you know that that makes ten. And the, what the Romans did, as we said before, they turned that V round and put it there. Do you see? We've moved that V, turned it upside down, and now we have the letter X. X for ten. Two fives. Now, of course, they had numbers more than ten. If I wanted to ask for fifty men to come and join me, I would give another hand signal, and it would be this. Now, that's different than that. Do you see? I would do that. What does that letter look like? Well, it's the letter L. L. And it means 50. Send me 50 men. L. L. 50. And the hand signal is like that. L. Send me 50 men. Now, what if I wanted a hundred men? Two fifties. Two fifties. But the Romans joined the two fifties together like they joined the two fives together. And they did it like this. They kept the L like that. And they turned that one upside down like that. So you've got two L's. Do you see that? What letter does that look like, roughly? Yes, the letter C. And the hand signal was that. C. Send me a hundred men. Now I'm going to give you a little test. See how many men I want you to send me. I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to do is give you a hand signal. Ready? I'll do that once more. How many was it? Good, yes. Five and fifty. Fifty-five men. Well done. Right, now I'm going to show you a few numbers as we go through the forest. Of course, the Roman army had thousands and thousands of men. They needed sometimes more than a hundred men to come towards them. So they developed hand signals for more than a hundred. 
Let me show you one of them. The hand was put up like this and the C was done like that and it made the letter, can you see it? It's a D, D for 500 men. Send me 500 men, D. is the letter for 500 in the in the Roman number system now sometimes they needed a thousand men so what they did for a thousand they turned the sea sideways like that and they used two of them like that two upside down seas made 1000 and it was written like this now later on they changed that around and they made it like this they joined them together like that and then later again You'll see on clocks and where the Roman symbols are written in books and things like that, they then wrote it like that. And now you can see the letter M. So this is how the Romans developed their number system. Now I'm going to give you a little test. I'm going to pretend that you are an officer and I am another officer called a centurion a cent turian a man sent in charge of a hundred men in the Roman army sent meaning a hundred so I'm a centurion and I'm going to call you another officer to send me so many men see if you can tell me how many men I'm asking for watch carefully Have you worked out that? Let's look and see. Well, this one, do you remember? D, 500. This one, L, 50. This one, V, 5. And do you remember this one? 1. So, 550. 5 and 1, 56. 556 men. Well done if you got that right. You could be an officer in the Roman army. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our programme, children. And next time, I hope to be able to show you a calculating machine something that adds numbers. So, I'd like to finally say goodbye children everywhere. <laughs>